FameLab. Talking Science. Well, uh, chemicals are not themselves bad. It is the use uh, that makes them bad. For example, medicines are very useful chemicals, but if you will just uh, take full bowl of medicines in breakfast, you will either end up claiming your health insurance or calling relatives for funeral. Well, but this will only affect you. Some chemicals can affect the whole globe. For example, our grandparents used CFC gas in refrigerators and air conditioners. Well, that gas went and made a hole in the ozone. The grandparents, probably some of them are gone through that hole to heaven, but the hole is still there for us. So this happens sometimes because of this English phrase which says, learn from your mistakes. So some scientists take it as if you have to learn more, you have to make more mistakes. So they made a successful mistake when they used Teflon, Gore-Tex, and Scotchgard-like things which have PFCs, they are very new pollutants, basically organic compounds with carbon and fluorine, and we use them in almost everything around us. The good thing about these chemicals was that they cannot be destroyed. They are oil-proof, heat-proof, chemical-proof, waterproof. So we use them in jackets, in carpets, in fire extinguishers, but the bad thing we did, we also use them for frying pans and for even um, coating of paper, which we use for burgers and popcorns. So what happened, that chemical ends up in our body now. And just five years back, every glass which we were drinking was taking that chemical inside us. And then we found that, okay, the good thing that this chemical cannot be destroyed, now this is a bad part, because our body cannot also destroy it. And so it will remain there, and kidneys cannot take it out, so what will happen, that each time we'll take more inside, it will keep on increasing, and time will come, then it can cause cancer and other problems. So maybe it is not bad for you, but now just imagine that I'm pregnant, <laughs> like this, and there is a chemical inside my body, and there is a baby inside my body, so what will be the effect on this baby? And even after delivery, ouch, when the mother will feed milk to this baby, the chemical will grow through this milk to baby. Some of the scientists were so disappointed that they thought that, okay, this problem is so big that we cannot undo now, so they are now thinking life on other planets, like they are searching life on Mars, so probably they have to move there someday. But we, the environmental chemists, we were determined, okay, if some chemical will uh, trouble our babies, we will not leave this chemical. So we successfully now trying to do whatever we can do. And in Germany, I can tell you now with confidence that at least in our drinking waters, this chemical is no more in just five years. Thank you.